All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another crazy, crazy video. Now, in today's video, this is the Holy Spirit touched this saintiness. This was crazy. All right. So this is uh, from my boy Mario. Man, shout out to Mario. Everything will be in the description box below. Go check out the original video if y'all want to watch the full entire video. But however, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. I will give all my thoughts at the end of the video because I want to enjoy the video with y'all, man. I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to watch the whole video through and then we can talk about it. You feel me? So without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. What do you believe in? What do I believe in? Yeah, what, what God? I never really believed in the God. I used to be a Satanist. Everything that's trying to kill you, everything that's lying to you, I break you by the authority of Jesus Christ. Next time I see you, you're not going to wear the bandana that says sinner. You're going to wear one that says righteous, a son. What do you see my other hat? What does it say? I look like a Santa Monica. Antichrist? Wow. It's a business, right? It kind of looks like a house or something. What do you worship? Yeah. What do you believe in? What I believe in? Yeah, what God? I never really believed in a God. I used to be a Satanist. A Satanist? You used to be. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Grow old. You grow old? Grow so old. Do you still believe in Satan? Yeah. Kind of. I believe in myself. You don't believe in nothing, right? So well, let me ask you this. What happens after life, after death, when you die? You go six feet in a hole. Okay, and so you believe you're just a body, like this is it? You yeah, it's just not crazy, man. Just six feet in a hole. Okay, so you're just body, no spirit, no soul, nothing. Okay. Flesh and blood. Huh? Flesh and blood. So Flesh and blood. Okay. Let me tell you something, man. Like, I literally prayed earlier. I said, God, send me to somebody that you need to reach today. You've been dealing with heavy depression, man. I want to reach somebody that's dealing with suicide. I almost died three years ago in a hotel room. Suicidal. I almost killed myself. I went to go turn on the bathtub, and I said, I feel like somebody's watching me. And sure enough, I went to go look through the little hole, right, the door. There was a guy standing right outside my door. My, the doorknob starts opening, opens the door, and I stop it with my foot. I do. what are you doing? It was a maintenance guy. He said, somebody just called about a broken door. I said, no, dude, you're lying. I've been in here all day. Close the door, and I lock it. It freaked me out. I said, bro, that's crazy. I, I was literally about to kill myself. Fast forward, I didn't end up killing myself. I ended up doing a lot of pasta, a lot of cocaine. I, my body started rejecting the alcohol and the cocaine. By the end of the night, I had to hold my nose and pour liquor down my mouth just because I, like, I started throwing it up. Stomach acid was coming out of my mouth. Then I hit lines of cocaine. Nose was bleeding profusely, wouldn't stop bleeding. And it had never happened. Finally, I hit a big line of coke and I sat back on the bed and I felt my heart in my ear. And then it, like I could hear real loud. And I felt almost like if my soul, because I believe we have a soul. It was like getting sucked out backwards and darkness was creeping like this. I was like, I don't want to die. And my heart started beating again real loud, right? I didn't want to die. I didn't Fast forward, I didn't end up dying. Maybe a week or two later, my wife told me, hey, you're going to Christian camp. I said, I ain't going to that. There's no way I'm going to this Christian camp. I didn't grow up like that. I ended up going out there and I had a vision of Jesus in the woods when I was in the woods by myself. I had a vision and it broke me down. I felt a cup of love like this, like a cup of honey being poured over my soul. The most love I've ever felt in my life, bro. And it changed the way I see things. God doesn't see us for our sins. He literally sees you the way he sees Jesus Christ, blameless, righteous because of the blood of Jesus. That's you, bro. And But if you keep seeing yourself low, like you're lonely, like the way the devil has you seeing yourself, you're going to live that way. As the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. The way you continue to see yourself, that's the way you're going to continue to live. And I know that you're dealing with that because I literally did I pray about that before I came. I said, I want to reach somebody that's dealing with suicide, God. I need to reach somebody today. Help me reach somebody today. And I know it's you, bro. You're like you got that cloud of heaviness. I believe right now, even the lights are flickering right now. I believe that if I pray right, right now, that God will relieve that stuff off of you and that you will encounter God's love. I'm being serious. Do you want to, do you want to do that? Can I pray with you? I don't have to do it in front of everybody. No, I know, I know that, man. I, I, you probably got hurt with religion and all that. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about relationship. God sees you, bro, the way He sees His Son Jesus. Like, doesn't matter what you've done. Doesn't matter how many times you sacrificed to Satan, to Lucifer, and all the things you did. He don't. He didn't see you like that. He seen you the way He created you to be, a son, blameless in His eyes, righteous in His eyes. He loves you, bro. What are you thinking about when I say that? Nothing. Why, why do you laugh? 
Same thing I hear every day. Somebody tells you this? Is it your mom or what? Who tells you this? Anybody. Anybody that believes but in Because it. God is trying to reach you, bro. Is, is it a coincidence that God keeps telling you this every single day? Like every single day. He's trying to reach you, bro. All the hurt that you do with. Bro, I know what it is to lose people you love. I just lost my grandfather. I just lost him four, four months ago. And he's the man that raised me. I didn't grow up with my parents. I love my parents now, but like I grew up with my grandpa and he died four months ago. I know what it is to hurt to hurt for for losses and stuff. I know what that it feels like, but I had peace because God, because Jesus came and died for us and because I have hope that I'll see my grandpa again. You have hope you'll see loved ones again. If you've lost people in your life, you have hope because of what Jesus did. And I'm probably here because of their prayers. Did you lose people in your life? Lost a lot of people. Okay. Everybody lose people. Yeah. They believed in God. Yeah. And they walked with Him. But I'm here because of their prayers. Is your last name Flores? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, man, look, I just want to pray with you. And I mean, I mean it, man. Like, that's the gospel is that you're not an enemy of God. He loves you. Don't matter what you did, if you worship Satan, there's re as long as there's breath in your lungs, there's forgiveness for your sins. Don't matter what you did, bro. I did cocaine, did horrible things. Fought, look at my knuckles. I used to fight everybody. I hated people. This is so real to me because I fellowship with the Holy Spirit every day. Because I'm able to love you the way God loves you. I'm able to see you the way God sees you. There's no way I could do that on my own back then. I have the love of God. I receive His love. And now in turn, I can see others the way He sees them. That makes sense? <laughs> What's your name? Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather not say. Okay. Well, Flor Mr. Flores, let me pray for you, Elise. Yeah. Father, I thank you right now that we come against every spirit of death right now that's come against Flores, Lord. Every spirit, this is your son. We break every demonic spirit that's trying to kill him, that's trying to take his life. Everything that's trying to kill you, everything that's lying to you, I break you by the authority of Jesus Christ. It's every unclean spirit. Leave him now. You're not going to die at a young age. You're going to live a long life, and you're going to be a man of God, a mighty man of God. Jesus loves you, bro, and he's got, he wants to put his spirit inside you. He wants to empower you. He wants to love you. He wants to fellowship with you. He wants to change your life forever, bro. Okay? But you have to answer that call, my brother. You have to. Like, today's the day of salvation. Tomorrow's not promised, bro. Today, bro. It's, the, it's this. It's like we were enemies from, alienated from God. We're enemies, but the blood of Jesus speaks a better word about you. All that you were separated from God, God has torn that wall of separation. Now you have access to God. That's so awesome, bro. That's good news, bro. That we're not enemies of Him. Isn't that crazy? That light keeps flickering. <laughs> it's spiritual, bro. There's demons. Demons that come and attack people. Those demons of suicide, they left right now. I, I see like a shift now, right now, like in your eyes. Like you're starting to receive a little bit more. That spirit of premature death, that spirit of suicide has to go. It has to go. You're not going to die. You're not going to kill yourself. Okay? God bless you, man. Next time I see you, you're not going to wear the bandana that says sinner. You're going to wear one that says righteous, a son. <laughs> what does it say? You want to see it? Where's it at? It looks like the holy death bind you in Jesus' name. What does that say? That looks like a Santa Monica. Antichrist? We, next time, I see you're going to have like a, a permanent marker crossing out the ant. And you're gonna say, it's going to say Christ. God bless you. Man. Thank you for letting me pray for you, man. Remember those words. Those words were life. Those were for you today. Okay? He loves you, man. He knows that you don't hate him. You're not an Antichrist. That's a lie. You bind that spirit of Antichrist. Jesus name we have authority over that you, that's a lie that's not you bro you're not hard like that <laughs> yeah, that's not you you have a big heart a big big heart you're like a teddy bear man you love people deep down inside you you're not a mean person you the, the devil has you thinking that but that's not you that's not you that's not the real you I used to live a lie too I used to think I was a brawler coke addict but living a lie that's not me though this is me in Christ and you're gonna be totally different next time I see you see you later
Do you guys want an interview? No. Y'all y'all heard the message though? Alright. Alright, I'm gonna stop it right there, man. Shout out to my boy Mario fam. Yo, this I say this about every video. Cause I love when people go out and preach the gospel. Like I do this out like outside of YouTube, y'all. I do this all the time at my job. Preach the word of God because that's what we're all to do. But it's two scriptures that came to my mind in particular for this video. Number one, the one scripture that he did mention as a man think as he is, you know what I'm saying? So whatever you're thinking, if you thinking that you are this way, then you are like that as a man think as, as he is. And then the other scripture is life and death lies in the power of the tongue. So when you continue to talk negative over yourself, you continue to place these things and manifest these things over yourself. So if you continue to tell yourself you're depressed, if you continue to tell yourself that you're worthless, then guess what? Now you're manifesting these spirits that are not good spirits in your life. Now you're really going to be depressed, bro. Trust me. I didn't know how deep that scripture was until I was going through a financial crisis in the beginning of my marriage. Now, I won't say financial crisis. I'm not going to say like we was like poor. Like, no, we wasn't. I was just I was just doing too much. But I will say uh, I, I will always say, oh, I'm depressed. Oh, I'm depressed. Oh, I'm de and I'm continue to speak that. And I didn't know that I was manifesting a, a depressed spirit. So I was actually becoming depressed. And it's crazy that like I think that same week or maybe two weeks after our pastor did like a deliverance service where he delivered demons from people. And my wife, she just nudged me and told me to go up there. I didn't want to go up there, but she just nudged me and told me to go up there, bro. He came to me first at all people up there. He came to me first. Okay. And I, and I, and I couldn't talk, but a, a voice in my head was like, why is he coming to me first? As soon as he laid his hands on me, I lost all control of my body, fell out, lost all control of my body and fell out. And then as soon as I like kind of got control of my body, I just start bawling out tears. I didn't even know why I was crying, but I just started bawling out tears. That's what I mean by the love of God, because that was nothing but the love of God in that moment. Just start bawling out tears, bro. But this is one thing that he said in the beginning of this video is that he said he used to be a Satanist. Okay, and then he said that he don't believe in Satan. I, you know, saying whatever. He don't believe in Satan no more. Okay, but he said he believes in himself. That's the, that's the tactic of Satan. He wants you to believe in yourself. When you start to believe in your own ability, you know what I'm saying? That's where we fell at in life as, as humans. We believe in our own ability. We believe that we can do this and we cannot do this. We need a helper and our helper is God. That We need God. You know what I'm saying? We need God in our life. If you don't have God in your life, truly seek after God. You draw near to him, he will draw near to you. Find out who his son Jesus Christ is. Once you find out who his son Jesus Christ is and you get baptized in the water and then you get baptized with the Holy Spirit, bro, you're going to find a level of peace in your life. And I'm not saying your life going to be 100% easy. No, it's not. But you're going to find a level of peace that anything you go through is just like peace. You know, the People be looking at you like, damn, bro, you ain't going to say nothing back to them. They just cussed you out. God said vengeance is his. <laughs> God said vengeance is his. It's like a level of peace in you, bro. I kid you not. And so... So the devil, the devil wants you to believe in yourself. He wants you to believe in your own ability. You know what I'm saying? And believe that you could do this life thing alone. He wants you to believe in that. That whole like that little isolation thing that people talk about. Oh, you just got to isolate yourself from everybody and go ghost and do this and do that, bro. We cannot do this thing called life alone. We cannot. We need true friends around us. We need true believers of Christ around us to hold us accountable. We need these people around us. Community is very big. It's big. Even Jesus walked around with 12 people on his side he couldn't do this life without without these 12 folks he probably could have because he was god in the flesh but he showed us how big community really is because he had community he had the 12 disciples you know what i'm saying and so people need to understand that it's not your own ability when 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 peter got off on that boat and started walking on water you know what i'm saying i mean as soon as he took his eyes off jesus as soon as he took his eyes off Jesus and believed in his own ability, he and he started thinking about his own ability and things like that. And he took his eyes off Jesus and then he realized, like, hold on, wait, I'm walking on water. What the freak? He sunk. He started drowning. You know what I'm saying? Until he caught on the name of Jesus again. That's when Jesus saved him and got him out the water. 
But the point that I'm trying to make is that we can't believe in ourselves. It's impossible to believe in ourselves, bro. Because if I believe in myself, when I say believe in yourself, I'm not saying, oh, don't believe in yourself that you can't, you know what I'm saying, be successful in life or don't do, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that. But believe in your own ability that you think that you can do all of this alone. You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself that you think that you are a God when you're in reality, you're not. You know what I'm saying? In reality, you're not a God. <laughs> you are a human being that is struggling, that is trying to figure things out. You're not a God. But the good news that he said, though, y'all, and something that, I, something that I truly love is, number one, you are not who you think you are. <laughs> you are not. If you're thinking negative upon yourself, bro, you're not that person. If you think that, oh, man, I'm worthless, I'm this, I'm that, you're not. You're worthy. You know what I'm saying? You're worthy. Live as if you're worthy, fam. Like, if you're thinking about ending yourself and all these different things, fam, don't end yourself. You know what I'm saying? God loves you. You just need to find out God's love. You need to seek his, you need to seek him. You need to seek his presence. Don't think that God is fake because you haven't seen his presence, but think about it like this. I can't say that God is fake because I never felt God if I never intentionally and, you know, intentionally tried to seek after God. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I never try to intentionally seek after God, so how can I obviously feel his presence? In order for me to feel his presence, I have to seek after him and honestly be humbly open and transparent with him. You know what I'm saying? Come to him in truth and spirit. Like, I have to be honest and open and transparent with him and say, Lord, I need you more than anything. Once you be honest with God and you start to really open your eyes, you will see the presence. You will feel the presence. You know what I'm saying? You will be in his presence. And I'm not going to say every single time you're going to feel the presence of God because God, I don't want people to get in their head that God is a feeling like you're not, you're not going to always feel the presence of God, but you would know because of his word that he's right here at all times. He's all around us at all times. So you would know that I'm in the presence of God. I'm in the presence of God. I'm in there, but you may not feel it, but you, you would know like I, I'm in the presence of God. He's right here. He's right here by my side. And I believe that. And I trust that God is good. Y'all God is good. Y'all just got to seek after him, man. Seek after God. Seek after God, please. Don't don't go in the comment section and, 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 and being fast fingers when y'all have when y'all haven't even read the Bible. Y'all only read what one page of the Bible and then y'all say, oh man, this is fake. Or y'all went on Google, oh God, this is fake. And y'all try to find every contradiction that y'all can, but there's no contradictions in the word of God. If you don't understand something, just say you don't understand it. Don't say it's a contradiction. <laughs> There's a lot of things I don't understand in the Bible sometimes, but I don't say it's a contradiction. I, I do my research. I try to understand it. I ask the Holy Spirit to help me, help me to see what is God speaking on right here. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, below, uh, comment section below, man. Shout out to this guy. I don't want to call him a saint in this, but I forgot his name. But shout out to, Flo I think his last name was Floris or something like that. Shout out to him, man. You know what I'm saying? God loves you, bro. If you ever see this video, God loves you. Jesus Christ loves you, bro. Seek after them, man. I promise you, you're going to feel the presence. You're going to feel the love and peace. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel that. Once you once you come to it, you're going to feel that. It's going to be a level of peace in you. You'll be like, man, I feel good. It's going to be a level of joy in you. You'll be like, damn, bro, I feel good. Like, I'm excited. Like, what? I, I'm not happy no more. I have joy. I have an everlasting feeling in me. I, I have joy right now. Happiness, that's whack. I got joy. <laughs> like, come on, man. <clears throat> but anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's been your boy, the pen. I love each and every one of y'all, bro. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.